Okay. Cool as fuck. <laughs> How to know. chop a Land Rover in two. <laughs> Is he screwing it good, dude? Hmm? Is he screwing it good? <laughs> <laughs> it all started working on a series in my dad's shed. I followed my dreams and joined the Marines, serving in Afghanistan. Defenders were always part of me. So here we are, building custom machines with my awesome team in Shropshire. We are Maker. Hi guys, I'm Dave and welcome back to Maker. Today guys, I want everybody that is watching this and tuning in to go down, back out of what you're watching and click subscribe. I want 10,000 followers and help me get there. And if you help me get there guys, I'll bang a video out every week with anything that you want me to feature on these trucks. So in this week's video, I'm gonna give you a lowdown about what this is. So as you can see, this is far from the norm. And at the moment, in this current climate, we're trying to break the norm. So break the mold, do something different. Everyone's doing classics. Everyone's doing everything that we're doing, basically. And it's, I'm sick and tired of people saying that we've copied him, he's used tweed, he's used this. So what we did is we had a couple that approached us, Richard and his wife and his son approached me and said, Dave, I want you to build his son a vehicle that you can use every day, but looks funky. He didn't want it to go this far initially, but you know me, I don't do things half-hearted. And this is what we came up with. So this here is a 200 TDI, and you'll see in the clip shortly, the state that this vehicle was in. It was in a very bad way. This was sat up in Doncaster, a good friend of mine, Tom, at Winchester Gears. It was sat in the back of his yard and I was like, Tom, I need to give this truck a new lease of life. So I brought it back here. Those of you that remember, it was sat in the corner of my yard, those that actually come to the workshop, and it was in a very bad way. We actually shot it with a paintball gun one day and had a bit of a laugh with the lads. But nonetheless, we pulled the engine out. My father rebuilt that, and you know the standard that we rebuild them to, you'll see shortly when I pop the bonnet. I gave Tom a call at Winchester Gears, he rebuilt the gearbox and the transfer case for me, fully dressed, came back beautiful. The axles, we've gone with galvanised components because this customer wants this car, so this is going to be called the Reborn Phase 1. So Phase 2 is going to be an LS3 or a BMW, depending on what I can leverage out of his back pocket if there's any left. And for me it's more building a car that is going to be local and it's got my name all over it and I'm proud of that. And every single one of my guys has had their hands on this vehicle. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start at the front. So we've given it a nice classic galvanized front bumper. The wings, we decided to replace them. So these are brand new items from Land Rover, genuine parts. This surround kit here is my design. So these are my heritage light surrounds. These are truck lights. These are the Whipac LED, but classic looking colors. We've gone with the classic grill. Just trying to keep it in keeping with what it used to look like, but you know without the plastics that are gonna fade and go crispy and brittle over the years. And if you come up here, so I wanted this car to look unique. I didn't want to go with a horrible washed out white roof, so we've gone limestone with the roof. We've gone with this lovely blue, but I didn't want to be, I didn't want to like do the same old thing, you know, put the retro stickers on and go that kind of route. So I went a little bit different. So we went satin, so this beautiful satin finish. On the inside, We've literally just gone back to basic, so it's probably the most basic dash we've ever done, but you know what, it works. So, and I want to say a little bit about the bulkhead. This was an ultra bulkhead. And you know what, we had to make some tweaks, as I told you in the previous videos, but it works and look at the door lines. It's bang on, it's perfect. These seals here, these are made from stainless steel. We've had them powder coated. 
I recommend that is a must have for any defender. Classic, road going, whatever you have guys. These vehicles from side impacts have no protection. We all know how flimsy these aluminium doors are. They're soft skin vehicles, so protect yourselves guys. Fit side rails. As we come to the back, these are 18 inch steel modulars. The customer wanted, a, we had to kind of work to a budget. So he's gone for them for now, as much as I would like to put the Ross styles on that lots of you have seen on um, the Instagram and voted there. As you come around the back here, you'll see that we've gone with the usual master. I've done this because his son's gonna have a couple of friends jumping in the back, that kind of thing. So it enables a step and he wanted a tow bar for the boat, them kind of weekends. We've gone with an ORE wheel carrier. Chris needs to sell me them cheaper, otherwise I'm gonna go elsewhere. Um, these are genuine mud flaps. We've gone with like lots of genuine parts, trying to keep that iconic brand and that iconic look. <clears throat> Full stainless steel exhaust system. We've gone with a few little mods, so we've gone bigger injectors and we've gone upgraded fuel pump. So those of you know that I do sell the 200 TDI upgrade components, so we've got hybrid turbo, we've gone, I want to say 40 cc's bigger on the injectors, but there's a certain tip to how to do them exactly right, and this has got a lovely note to it, as you'll see shortly. So inside we've gone with a matting kit, so I'd prefer to have this matting kit because it means you can just swill it out. So this is like a liner and it's, it's probably about a quarter inch thick and it actually helps block the sound out and it saves you having to cover all those nice painted areas in Dynamac because Dynamac goes a bit tacky over the years and carpet goes fluffy but these guys actually want to work this truck, you know, put the dogs in there, get the muddy wellies in there and as you can see guys, it's functional, it is what it is but this is a fully rebuilt 200 TDI as you can see there, you see these seals guys, they, they do go over time But yeah, there you have it. This is, oh, and I did forget the major bit. So this is actually built on a Marsland chassis and everything's just right. So we've kept the galve look, we've kept it iconic. And you know what? This car really is, I don't know. It's gonna stand up from the crowd, that's for sure. So what we have under here, I call this my maker stage three. So. We start off with a bare block, we strip it all the way down, we get them dipped, we get them cleaned. Nothing is not touched basically, even down to bolts. So we've had a custom bolt kit made for us because most of you know in the automotive trade that some bolts you just cannot get. It might be 105 mil to just be exactly right. And as you see down here, you can't get away with just putting a 110 mil bolt on. So we've actually had them made to our spec. As you can see here, we've gone with some lovely aluminium upgrades, this breather pot from Ali Sport. Ali Sport are making some fantastic components and you know what? I love showing off other people's brands and other people's products because combined you can make an unbe like an unbeatable team. I'm not the kind of guy that's afraid to say where I buy my products from. Like Colin the other week helped me out massively. I needed a radiator for this. I've been crying and crying out from Ali Sport to get me a radiator. So if anybody wants a radiator, get in touch because I have got stock, 200 TDI, high performance radiators. The intercooler, that came from Ali Sport. And if you see down here, you can see how chunky that girl actually is. But what we do not come away from is that this car is a 200 TDI, it's reliable. Some people rate this engine as most reliable engine in the world, if anything we should say. But you know what, I love it and here it is. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Just turn the ball. Good idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
it, Louis? What? You explain to Chris everything that you've done, haven't you? What? Come on, sure. Oh, it's a bit um, special, lad, if that's, you, if that's what you like. So what you see here is we're basically changing the car software and as most of you know we are part of a live tuning basically dealer system so I send the file away to Gary, Gary Wood. Most of you know that he's one of the best in the business when it comes to software and upgrades. So as you can see here we're just doing an ODB basically some people call it flashing, I call it remapping. So we're basically recalibrating the car software because on this car we've gone with a 2.2 hybrid turbo a three inch decat, removal of the DPF, downpipe delete, mid silencer, full stainless steel system as you'll see in a moment. Um, and I want to say we're going to give this car a good 40% gain, so she's going to really liven up. So I'll just carry on what I'm doing here. So Ben, who owns this car, I tried talking him into an LS3, but he's told me that we're going to go subtle mods first and work his way up to it. So we've actually designed the exhaust system so it can be adjusted with a little bit of work. So I want to say from behind the transfer case back, we can actually use that for an LS3 because it is all three inch, 316 stainless as per usual. But Ben is actually going to go with a few more other subtle mods as well. Things like bulkhead delete. He's going to have some beautiful diesel high brown seats, um, Recaro CS Sportsters, which have, um, they're just going to transform this cabin. Bulkhead removal, um, we're going to go with some panels in the back to basically tidy it up a little bit. Um, he's going with air suspension, Fox shocks, remote reservoirs. So he's really spending a few quid on this car to transform its driving and not just a remap.
So guys, a quick update on this absolute pig of a truck. And it is a pig of a truck because you know what? I did this to myself, right? So I messaged Martin, I said, Martin, I said, you know what you need? After doing Captain Ratty's, um, what did we call that now? The rodent. I said, how amazing does the rodent look with the roll cage on? And we have started a bit of a trend because now I've got three of these booked in, but don't tell the lads because fitting these cages to these military trucks is an absolute bitch. Um, but it does look the old, absolute nuts and this truck has a bit of a weapon it's packing 300 horse under there so i said to martin look martin you've got a soft top truck here and we need to make it safe mate and jeremy that works for me is a very very good example he binned his 90 flat packed it and i'm pull a photo on social media sometime soon because i want all my customers to fit a roll cage i don't care if you think they're ugly i don't care if you think that they dig into your shoulders i want you to fit a roll cage because guys I don't want you dead and I don't want you paralysed because it's something that is happening and I love these cars and I just want to make them safe and if I can develop a cage that suits you which I have done with a recent customer that's just inquired he's like me, big guy, broad shoulders and I'm, we're looking at tailoring the rear tube so it's not digging into your shoulders when you've got the, like, the further back Recaro seats if you like so there you go, the pig is looking glorious in its, um, in its entirety and this truck, it, it never ceases to amaze me it's one of my favourites that we've ever built and it's literally a wolf in sheep's clothing. I haven't seen this one for a while. So yes, this has came out of storage. Of course, we've got sun, beautiful seat, like, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Beautiful afternoon, and I've named this car Summer Blues because it's something that hides away in the winter and comes out in the summer. And I can't wait to get down the pub with the partner and the dash hound, of course, and enjoy the weather. So it is still for sale. Everything's for sale, guys, you know me and if someone wants to bid me on this vehicle it's a beautiful left-hand drive vehicle we've got a 3.9 rover v8 and for me it's destined to be in something like the south of france or somewhere where a left-hand drive is going to benefit you i've recently put a set of km3 tires on it and banded steel wheels and i don't know about you but does it or does it not just complement it so thanks again for watching guys do not forget to subscribe Right, I am going to be doing a little giveaway soon. So those that are subscribing are the only people that are going to get a chance to get onto this giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, guys. Please help me. I'm a small business and I'm trying to help my lad's passion turn it into profit. This vehicle, guys, I can't emphasize enough. You can't buy these cars anymore. There's not many people out there bringing these 200 TDIs, 300 TDIs back to life. And unfortunately, guys, I don't want all these cars heading off to America. So this is why I'm fitting galvanized chassis, because they can't go there. And I want these cars to stay here, because if they all go to America, who's going to maintain them? I don't fancy moving over there as much as I'd love to. I think I'd go to Australia first, but anyway. I can't help myself. Here we are. We've built another one. This is Reborn Phase 1. It's going to be coming back in the future for Phase 2. And you know what? I am going to build another one, guys, and I am going to sell it. So who wants to have... A 200 TDI, fully restored 90. Put your name down in the order book, guys, because it is filling up thick and fast. But anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you again soon.